welcome everybody to In the Kitchen, and this is the awesome and fabulous Michelle Vivian. I'm Melissa Clay, and we're going to be cooking a healthy version of ratatouille. So, Michelle, I'm going to have you cut up all the vegetables. So, the eggplant, I'm going to have you um, cut it right down the middle. Okay. Tip off. Okay. And I'm going to start the um, the actual onions and peppers for the chicken. Right. So I'm turning the pans on. We're going to do the oil. This is chicken we're going to put in here. And tomato sauce we're going to put in this one. And we're going to mix them all together. So I'm just going to add a little bit of oil to each pan. Just a tad. More. Because oil is a little bit fattening, isn't it? Very. The more oil you add, the more calories. So I like to use, what I usually tend to use is, um, you know, the spray oil. Do you prefer olive oil versus vegetable oil? Because recently my partner and I, my fiance, we were looking at the ingredients on the vegetable oil because I don't want vegetable oil. And really when we were looking at the ingredients, the all of it was pretty much the same. The vegetable oil versus the olive oil. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, oil is oil. Um, it's all fat. It's all 100% fat. Oh. And um, they all have different smoke points. So, and olive oil, this is grapeseed oil, so it has a higher oh. smoke point and it has the... What does um, smoke point mean? So that's, so let's pretend we got this pan up to 500 degrees. Mm -hmm. So if it were olive oil, it'd be smoking like crazy. Oh, so if you, okay, so if it has a higher smoke point, that means it's you going can to cook smoke with it better. more. So, yes. Okay. No, no, no. It smokes less. It smokes less. Okay. So got you it. can put it, it's got a um, higher smoke point means higher in heat. Ah, okay. So I'm going to chop up my... So you can get to a higher heat and not have the, the immense amount of smoke. Exactly. That's Got why it. a lot of times they'll cook with peanut oil um, Aren't to fry things. Fattening? Everything's Everything that has oil is fattening, yes. <laughs> you got it. Every nut, every everything. Well, I am super excited to be here with you, Melissa. I think your cooking style is healthy, uh, it's tasty, it's economical, um, and you can actually feel full on it and not feel guilty. Which is totally, completely awesome. That's, I am the type of person that I kinda, I want my cake and I wanna eat it too. Exactly. So by this, I can, listen to that sizzle. Now I'm gonna cut up my pepper for my tomato sauce. I'm, we're gonna make the tomato sauce in real time because it takes no time at all. I think that wow. tomato sauce is this thing like, my grandmother, yes, her tomato sauce was amazing. It was, you know, 18 hour sauce. Oh, and so she cooked it early, early in the morning. Wow. And she would, um, the peppers and onions, and that sauce would cook all day. Literally, it was all probably day. amazing, though. Huh? It got so dark; it would get this beautiful, rich, mm. dark, dark red color. Mm. But nobody has that kind of time anymore. Well, I mean, you can put it in your crock pot. You know, oh. if you wanted to make it early in the morning, and not your, burn down the house while you're and gone. not burn down the house exactly. <laughs> so how? So oh, and I love peppers. That's good for you. Sort of an antioxidant. Totally. As I try and make my diet as many vegetables as possible. Right? That is yeah. where I'm at right now. I have recently started to have salad for breakfast and I'm with the hard boiled egg and I'm telling you it is so good. I had no idea that salad would be good for breakfast. I would only think of it as a dinner, you know, before dinner, you know, kind of thing or even after if you want to go French style, but like I really didn't think for breakfast salad would be good. I am addicted. That's awesome. To salad in the morning. And I think it's so funny because we really are almost um, branded, I want to say, of you know how we eat. And it doesn't really need to be that way. No. And I you mean, called it a savory breakfast. Yes. Mm. Because I think so many people feel as though they need to eat cereal or they need to eat something sweet for breakfast. Right. And I, Oh, that's so true. Wow. I actually just like bacon and eggs, but you can't eat that all the time. For no. some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> it is such a mystery. <laughs> well, I started eating bacon like when I was 35. Um, so really? I, I did overboard. I went overboard with it because I was, you know, I was a vegetarian for a long time. And then when I came here, I started eating meat. And I started eating bacon at so, 35 and I fell in love with bacon. 
Um, Don't and I y'all. started eating it way too much. And my sister was like, you cannot eat bacon every day. I'm like, why not? <laughs> so tell me, why on earth did you not eat bacon until you were 35? Because uh, in Los Angeles, nobody eats food. I mean, you do, but you don't. You know, you just eat to survive, but you don't eat for sustainability. You don't eat for, you know, you just eat because everybody you has to be, be thin. size zero. Yeah, you just want to be thin, so you don't really eat that much, and you certainly are not going to eat things with saturated fats. Um, so I just didn't eat bacon. I didn't eat certain meats. So did you learn how to eat really healthy there, or were you just sort of resistant and like both, this is both? Because also there, there's a lot of like restaurants that you can go to that are very healthy. So it makes it easier. Which should be everywhere. Yeah, but. it makes it easier to eat healthy. Yeah. Um, but I do like the bacon. And <laughs> just stop. So now I try to just eat turkey bacon. Sometimes I feel like if I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna go all the way. Exactly, <laughs> right? No, don't have to like, it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Our technical director in the technical booth right now is Kelly Maroff and we really appreciate yes, thank her you, Kelly. efforts. Thank you, Kelly. And she um, is, a, is a vegetarian and I think she likes the turkey bacon with me. So, you know, there's that. <laughs> is she, is she's a vegetarian, she eats turkey? Uh, only certain fowl, I think. And that's kind of it. I hope I'm right on that, Kelly. <laughs> just, just things with two, just two legs. Two legs. <laughs> exactly. My, uh, my dad said that, he was like, I only think with two legs. I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> Whatever you, I it's up to you. I had one lady tell me once that she doesn't eat anything with a profile. <laughs> oh, I thought that was the funniest ever. Everything has a profile. <laughs> Even fish. Fish You're right. have a profile. You cannot You're say. Right. <laughs> my God, I never thought of that. I thought that was you an like, interesting criteria. Check my profile and my, do I look okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, fish, you look fine. You look fine. So ratatouille apparently has... I'm just doing a chiffonade of basil for the after. Oh, wonderful. And ratatouille is, um, actually was started out as um, a French dish for the poor. Okay. Because it was just easy, not too many ingredients, and still healthy. Okay, so it's got the mushrooms. Mushrooms. Now, if you're in, in England, they would be courgettes and Ooh. aubergine. But for us, it's zucchini and eggplant. Zucchini and, broccoli, and eggplant and broccoli. Summer squash. Summer squash and mushrooms. And grilled and sauteed onions. Sauteed uh, chicken okay. and tomato sauce. Ooh, that's easy, right? And fast. Yeah. Because those go in the oven and those you can, see the thing is, the vegetables can go in the oven whenever. Okay. You can put them in the refrigerator the day before if okay. you want to. And then you can take these out and then plate everything up. You can, everything can just be like already made. Already made. And you can, and if, if you have, you know, company or whatever, it's just like put it all in. You can even make it one pan. That's wonderful. So if you have kids you're trying to feed, a family, and you're coming home late after working all day, this is something that you can already sort of like pre-make or make really fast. Absolutely. Wow. And then if you're having like a dinner party, mm. um, instead of chicken, I would use um, maybe clams in the shell, um, shrimp. I'd do like a big, maybe almost make it like a seafood dish, mussels and a whole bunch of... That sounds so, amazing. And then you've got a beautiful pre-made I just, for your learned, friends. I just learned how to clam. I just learned really? how to clam. Do you love it? I do love it. I haven't gotten any yet. But <laughs> you know what's funny is Howie Marlin's wife, Jenny, taught me how to clam. With your feet. With your feet? Yep, she was like, it was so awesome. She was like, okay, just dig in the sand. And she you you like dig, you put your foot like really forward, forward, forward. And then she's like, and all of a sudden you're gonna feel something hard. And then she's like, you pick it up with your foot. <gasps> and I was like, that sounds awesome. So now we're gonna make the marinade for the vegetables. Now, um, this is also the same marinade that we used for the chicken. So that was marinating in the same thing. Okay. So we're gonna do a little bit of fat-free balsamic vinaigrette. Touch of that. And then we're gonna put in um, we're also gonna put in regular vinegar. So I put a lot, I use a lot of vinegar. I love vinegar. I like vinegar. I'm a vinegar girl. So regular vinegar. So this is basically what this is doing is sort of 
watering down the salad dressing. And then oh. I put in a little more about balsamic to kind of strengthen that flavor a little bit. And then I like a little bit of fig vinegar as well, because I like figs. Because if you can see, this is like sweet. It's going to be a little oh, bit sweet. Yeah. So, and then of course, salt and pepper, definitely. That is beautiful. This is Himalayan pink salt, and there's actually half the sodium as oh, regular wow. salt, which is kind of cool. Oh, that's wonderful. And big so I'm going to have you stir that. Cool. Well, and I am going to open up our noodles. And these are shirataki noodles. And where did you get those shirataki noodles? I got those, these at Kronig's, but you can also get them at Stop and Shop. Okay, okay. All right, so we are finding out what Miss Thing is doing. Miss Thing, is that's doing me. doing over at the water. So, what do you so the um, tofu shirataki noodles, um, they are just treat them just like tofu, so they're in water like tofu. There are, they're everything, you so see, you rinse it off. And I like to rinse them off until they get warm, because they're in the refrigerator. And then, we're gonna come right over here to the stove. And these are hopefully getting nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it smells good, doesn't it? It smells so good. So I'm just gonna turn this a little bit, cook these a little bit more. And then I'm gonna have you, since you're over here, put the sauce in. And this is the sauce that... So this is uh, nothing but diced tomatoes, one can diced tomatoes, and one jar of paste. Really? Yep. That's a, wow. And so we're gonna put that in. So what we do with the vegetables is we're just gonna put them on a cookie sheet and um, onto tin foil and so I'm gonna grab the vegetables out of the oven and we put them on a cookie sheet and hopefully they are done. Let's see how they came out. I'm very excited about I'm this. I'm very excited about this. So technically those are my vegetables that I cut up. <laughs> So here they are. Oh, wonderful. And you can see. Make sure she can get that shot. Dump that. And they are, these are beautiful. This is the eggplant. And this, these have been cooking for about 20 minutes on 400 degrees, 350. And all the vinegar and all those yummy spices and salt and pepper. And now what we're gonna do is. That's beautiful. We're gonna come over here. Nice Italian seasoning in here. Okay, I like a good healthy portion of garlic. And then we're gonna add a little bit of sugar. So this is actually stevia, actually from a plant. Oh, okay. So, um, so it's, it's not better terrible. than the pink or the blue or the yellow. Yeah, the other ones are um, aspartame or saccharin. So um, literally I kind of just go like that. And this- So that's like two teaspoons. Yeah, okay. and that particular um, version of the stevia is um, cup for cup. Okay. So they make it so that you can bake with it cup for cup. Because okay. a lot of times when you buy the sweeteners, it's like one little quarter of a teaspoon to like a cup. Okay. Sometimes it's like Okay. All right, now I'm gonna put these noodles in. So you're adding the shirataki noodles to the chicken. You got it. And what are shirataki? Are they mushrooms? They're mushrooms. Nope, this, I don't, it's like a yam. I don't know why they, it's called a shirataki actually. Oh, okay. I don't know what shirataki is. Oh. I mean, it's made out of soybeans and yam, uh, yam yeah, flour. Yum, yum, yum. So I'm just heating these up and oh. kind of soaking up the good chicken yumminess in the pan. Gosh. Because. That looks amazing. So this is, I'm making enough for three to four people. Wow. So this was, so a serving of chicken is about three to four ounces. So this is about, for four people, it'd be 16 at one pound chicken. Okay. And, um, oh my gosh, this looks oh. so good. It does look good. And I, I'm gonna grab a spoon here. Okay, you can do that. Okay. Oh yeah. I, I didn't know could, you could do no, could like, you? To, to mix the spoons together. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, that's all going in the same it's pot. And plus, sweet. the kitchen since the chicken is cooked, was already done. Yeah. Yeah. If that was raw and then I put it in, that's there, not, not, not a good not thing. Not <laughs> That'd be definitely bad. All right. Always be careful. I'm gonna have cooking with chicken. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna have you uh, pour this in here, and I'm gonna stir pour this while, in there yep, okay. while, while we're stirring. Wow. Just exciting. half of like just so enough so that we're because I'm gonna put some more on top. I'm gonna go this way oh. so the audience can see. <laughs> You're so kind. <laughs> You're awesome. This is a great right. recipe. That's good, that's good. Okay. I'm gonna stir this in. 
Good thing it's lunchtime. It is lunchtime. Mm. Free food, MBTV. <laughs> <laughs> and you can create your own cooking show here at MBTV if you just come on down and, and join MBTV. It is um, a community service. This is something that you can just, you can come in and learn how to produce your own TV show. And that is what Melissa has done here. Or you can cook with me. Or you can come cook with Melissa <laughs> and have fun like me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're wow. gonna grab a couple of tongs. Okay. I'm gonna grab, so we're gonna do a little experiment, Michelle. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna bring this over there. We're okay. gonna walk together. Walking. And we are going to, I'm gonna take this off the trivet. Put this on the trivet. So I'm gonna, well, have you grab that big, so this is a regular sized dinner plate. Okay. So actually I'm gonna put that piece of I'm gonna put half of this on. Okay. Okay, we're gonna save that. This is a normal size dinner plate, which is 10 inches. And I'm gonna have you just take, so we're gonna do the noodles first, and then we're gonna put the vegetables on top, and then we're gonna put more sauce on top. <laughs> Guilt-free noodles. Yay! Okay, because I'm trying to do the no carb thing. So a lot of people awesome. are, and I... Or low carb, not no carb, because I don't want to go into diabetic shock or something. No. So, you know, so I'm going to do this first, making sure to grab some chicken. And now I am going to quickly taste this and make sure it's okay, because, heaven forbid. Wow, that's beautiful. I need some more salt. And then I take the veggies. Yep. Actually, here. This you is not the spoon I just licked. <laughs> I don't mind having your cooties. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that to you. Okay, thanks. I wouldn't mind. I'm sure you have my cooties by now. Just living close to me. <laughs> All right. Then I'm gonna put a little bit more sauce on here. That's beautiful. So this is actually like a huge. Like you can have as much of this as you want. Like till you're completely stuck. Now I'm going to have you put this amount onto that plate right there. Oh wow. Which is a very, which is actually a dessert plate. Right, it's like a dessert or an appy, a large appy. So I'm going to have you put this exact Oh, you want me to exit? Oh, yep. okay. Let's see that. I don't want to mess up the beautiful presentation you have going here. That's okay. Oh. We didn't even put the basil on there. We yet. have a rogue. We have a rogue piece of chicken. chicken. Guess what? Boom. <laughs> Boom. That is the benefit of being distressed. <laughs> the benefits. Wow, look at so that. So now you have a full plate when you, before you had this little tiny amount. Right, it looks like Now less, all of a sudden it's it full. It looks like a lot. Wow, that's amazing. So it's better to have smaller plates. Definitely, and it's an optical illusion. And you eat all that and you're full. And you're full. Instead of taking an entire huge plate. plate. Wow, Americans. I know, right? <laughs> so did I tell you the story about um, a show that I was watching and they took, it was a food science show, and they took the, they took one room, they divided it in the middle, mm -hmm. they put the same amount of people on each side, and they gave them the same exact buffet. It was a buffet. Okay. And one table, one side of the room, they had large normal sized plates, that will be in air quotes, normal. Yeah. <laughs> and then on the other side they had um, plates that were about half the size. and. They, at the end, so people could take as much as they wanted. They could go back for thirds or fourths or whatever. Mm. So what they did was, at the end, when everybody was done, they weighed any leftovers, they weighed the food, they weighed everything. And they found that the group with the smaller plates ate about 40% less than the people with the big plates. Oh, wow. So, they actually ended up by just eating more because they felt that they had to. I mean, wow. So many of us, I feel like, get told, like, eat everything on your plate. That's right, when you're a kid. So yep. when we have a big plate like that, we right. feel, we still feel, no you matter if we're full. You still feel like you have to eat it all yeah. because you don't want to waste the food. So and you'll take more and you'll eat more. We don't pay attention and say, oh, I'm full. It's like, no, 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 we have to finish the food. Right. So that that's so why true. another reason, another good reason to take a small plate and go back for seconds, but really, but really. it's enough. And you actually feel less guilty. Exactly. Having this huge and plate in It's front so of you. much more healthy to um, leave the table with just a touch, feeling still like you could have had more. 
Right. So and I think that's the so best way. Healthy. That's actually how I maintained my weight in Los Angeles all the time is I never ever ate until I was full. Wow. Ever. So when were you so at like how half, were, half my food? I was always. What eating. did you do in Los Angeles that worked? I was a jazz singer. You were? Oh my God, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> so did you sing jazz for like? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had two bands. I would sing jazz and play a little piano. Wow. Yeah. This is my second life broadcast. <laughs> so how did you go from jazz singer? Uh, I went from jazz singer because to being behind the camera because I came to the vineyard and I thought that I would be able to um, create the same buzz for myself using digital media. So I was doing that to try to get more wedding gigs. Is to learn how to be in front and behind the camera instead of just in front. Oh. Yeah. So the so the TV part of weddings was how did that I was going to make my reel so I was making my reel through MVTV to send to uh, the wedding coordinators to get more wedding gigs to sing. Oh my gosh. So do you I still made one video, and it was a great video. And um, at the wharf, all my friends came. And I taught all my friends how to use the camera, and da da da, because I've always taught my whole life. And um, I made my own little production crew, made my DVD, and once I sat down to edit, I was smitten. I was smitten with this business. I, it was in such an immediate result that I just was just done. And that's what I wanted to do. Oh my gosh, that mm -hmm. is such a great story because, I mean, you are one, it's like such a complete opposite. It really is. Of and I have been in human resources, I've been in banking, so I know a lot of the administrative background work of, of offices and businesses. So it's sort of like a, wow. just sort of like a, a well-rounded left brain, right brain kind of life I've led in a way. So it's I just completely well-rounded. Now, do you still do jazz singing? No, I don't want to sing anymore because I don't like going to bars. <laughs> <laughs> I just spent enough time <laughs> in the club. <laughs> I spent enough time in bars. No more bars. <laughs> but I will do your wedding. No, I'm just playing. That's a joke. But no, but now I. I really love to just sing for fun or Do you miss it? You know, at home while I play my my piano. No, no. I mean a little bit I do. Because it really is a great release of energy mm. and that collaboration with other people and it just feels music, music feels good. Mm hmm Music? Um, I mean, I know like for my dad, he's a guitarist. Mm, that's so and, good. Mm. Thank you. You would never know. This is amazing. I mean, you, like swapping out the noodles for pasta. Oh, thank you so much for this recipe. You're welcome. This is wonderful. Mm. Yeah, my dad, he's a musician, and he plays because it makes him feel good, just like you yep. said. It's yep. just a whole... And even if you've had a rough day, you can sit down at your at your piece, whatever it is you play, and just let it out. Totally. You know? And it feels really, really good. So yeah, I miss that part of it. But I play at home sometimes when I have time. Do you play um, any instruments? Just piano. Oh, you, play the, you do play the piano? Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow. Yeah, I went to Musicians Institute School in Los Angeles. Oh, wow. That's a good time. It was like, you know, before you're 35, you can do a lot. <laughs> <sighs> or nothing, like me. Or no <laughs> but you raised an amazing family. I do so have three awesome kids, that. definitely. Your kids are awesome. But now I, um, it's almost like... I'm, I didn't go backwards. Mm -hmm. I definitely I fo followed my mother's footsteps for sure. But mm -hmm. I, um, but now I'm very raw. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, okay, now what? I can do anything I want. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. So you know, got the kids. They're all set, mm -hmm. and now mom can go do her thing. Absolutely. That's right. It's like I just want to travel and mm -hmm. train people, and this is wonderful, and become like a chef on TV. Mm -hmm. And you're doing production work in terms of being the technical director, so Melissa's already, and also behind the scenes, behind the camera, doing uh, production and technical direction for so some really great shows here, and we really appreciate that effort because you're doing a great job. Thank you. And it's fun, and you're really a natural, so it's like, wow, cool. It's so much fun when you find something that you're good at and you didn't even know even existed. That's right. So That's it's, right. Isn't it's, it wonderful? Like, yeah. Yeah. And media is something that we can't run from. 
This is very true. You can't. Whether you can't. it's on the computer, whether it's no matter what, it's it's here to stay. So you might as well know how to manipulate it and how to create your own brand. Absolutely. All right. All well, right. I want to say thank you so much for this. Thank you for being my guest. Absolutely. I loved it. It was very fun. It was very fun. And thank you for watching. I'm Melissa. I'm Michelle. And we'll see you next time. See you on the next show. <laughs> All right, Kelly, you want to give us a countdown? That was good. You got okay. it. No, you got okay, it. Good. You're such a natural. Okay, you really are. Okay, let's do it again. Let's start over. That's okay. No, God. No, no. I don't know. That's, that's I been it. been in here in a while. That's it. All right, so just remember this is your dead zone. Okay. Because neither camera can get you. I'll just hop. Be like, that's what's up. That's what's up. That was good. Yay.